Like I was interviewing these uh, these Arab kids. They're they're in like an Afghan gang basically, and mm-hmm. they're from the Bay Area. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking to them, and I'm kind of realizing that like they would like to do music with the rappers from Northern California, mm-hmm. but to them it's kind of like too much of a risk because if they start f-ing with one rapper, yeah. they're yeah. basically tied in with them and can't f-ing with yeah. any of the other ones. So for them, then it, it kind of becomes like, oh, I'm just not going to do features yeah. with anybody. Yeah, the way I look at it is like, if you're just a civilian, I don't care who you do shit with. I'm not going to get mad. Mm. You know what I mean? But if you're like choosing sides, then that's different, you know? You're like outside thugging with them or you're like talking shit about the people they talk shit about, like like laughing with them and shit like that. That's different, you know? Is coming to L.A. nerve-wracking for you at all? I was nervous about the interview. How come? Never did one. Mm. It's my first interview. I'm surprised you didn't uh, get I, one I back told, in the day. I told your, your coworker or your employee, I told him uh, that I've been hit up by almost every California interview there is, but I always told myself I'm only doing no jumper, oh, and shit. then I'll do the other ones. Wow, wow. I would have done it a while back if oh, you Oh, but I, I do want to say shout-out Vlad TV because they did hit me a while back. Really? But... I was just dealing with shit in my life, and I just wasn't, didn't care, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, but I hope he doesn't think that, like, I didn't want to do it, because I never really said anything. I just said, okay, I'll let you know. Mm-hmm. But it was, like, bullshit going on, like, street shit, just all that, you know what I mean? Really? Uh, just Yeah, just a bunch of shit. So yeah. there's a lot of drama around your neck of the, way, of the woods? Yeah, hell yeah, like, and, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, like, like, so... In other places, somebody, this is what my homie told me because he's been all over the country, you know, uh, shout out my boy Money. Uh, he, he goes to other states and he said, uh, when you go to other states, people meet you and they automatically show you love. Mm. They only don't like you if you give them a reason to. Mm-hmm. But in Northern Cali, people automatically don't like you and mm-hmm. you got to give them a reason to like you. you know yeah. What I'm There's a lot of truth to that. Yeah. Yeah. He like, just told me that yesterday, yeah. It's like everybody is so concerned with their position and how well-respected they could be that everybody automatically is kind of like a threat to that. Yeah, and, and especially in my city, or just in Northern Cali, period, but I'll speak on my city. Like, it's so many egos. Mm. It's a lot of people out there, too. You know, not as big as L.A., but it's like, I think like a little over a million or something, like 1.2 or something like that. Mm. But everybody got an ego, you know? Right. And if you're looking good, they don't like that. If they don't hang out with you and you're shining, they're not going to like that, you know? Right. I saw another clip where you were talking about how people have a grudge against San Jose in general. Like, people mm-hmm. people think y'all it's are. It's because in the Bay Area, well, there's probably a few reasons, but in you're the You're an oppie city? Yeah. You guys have a lot of ops over there? Yeah, like, hell like People yeah. just kind of look at you guys as mm-hmm. being the bad guys, you mm-hmm. think? Yeah, so uh, San Jose hella gang banged out, right? Mm-hmm. Now, other cities in the Bay... Um, they're like you'll get pressed up too, but it's different though, you know. In San Jose, it's like, like you know, uh, like it's just all gang banging. It's not really that in other cities. Other cities is more like you know, like blocks, neighborhoods, and shit. Mm-hmm. But San Jose is like the only major city in the Bay where it's all gang banging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the Bay, you know. And you guys get into it with like black gangs as well, or is it all your own shit? No, nah, like we're we're cool with like like blacks unless something happens between us, which it can, you know. If right. something happens, I mean that's with anybody. But just off the rip, no, no, we're all off the rip. We're gonna be cool, like as long as nobody's done nothing to each other. It's all love. Mm. You know what I mean? Hundred percent. Yeah, you'll see, yeah we kick it with them, like yeah. So uh, it just depends on individuals, yeah. From your perspective. Who are the Mexican rappers that you f- with the most out of California? Uh, shit, all the homies. Um, I, you know, like there's a lot of homies popping off. You got Rico Too Smooth. Um, you got Asito, GB, uh, rest in peace, TYF. Um, uh, Babyface Wood, Free Free Willie's locked up. Um, there's a lot that are like popping though, like. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when they go somewhere, people are walking up to them like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think it's growing a lot? Because I feel like it's Hell growing yeah. in, Hell yeah. mm-hmm. in Southern California. That yeah. It's like the, that scene, all these different podcasts yeah. and Instagram I, accounts yeah. and <clears throat> more and more artists. Yeah. Even Thizzler, they're posting like everybody now. They used to only do Bay, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. And then I feel like you and um, uh, the food community, you guys helped that a lot too. Like, shine some light on us. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming together. Even though we've never been here until today. But, but do you feel like you have a fan base in Southern California? Or you feel like it's mostly North? I get a bunch of DMs from Southern Cali. 
uh, but of course Northern Cali is stronger, mm-hmm. you know, but you know, and then like the States around it, I get a lot of love. Yeah. Do you actually bother to check out all the rappers from LA and shit? Like? Yeah. I always watch your channel. I always watch your interviews. Yeah. I watched it. Uh, I always watch them normally, but especially cause I know I was coming here. I watched all your interviews just to kind of do my homework on what it's going to be like. Yeah. But so even if you're like, like you're saying that you wouldn't really listen to a South side or whatever, like do you still tap in and like figure out what a lefty gun plays sounds like just so you well, know what's well, going on? Well, I follow you guys. So right. I'm always interested in what's going on. Yeah. Right. So I'm, 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 I'm in the loop. Yeah. You impressed by lefties come up the past couple of months? Yeah. Yeah, any anybody who comes up like that, especially a Mexican, mm. like uh, we uh, we, you know, I mean, we all got it hard, but North California Mexicans, we got it. I feel like a little harder, right? You know, but he's he's said that he basically can't work with anybody from the north. And, That's normal. And I, I wouldn't work with him or none of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, you don't think that that shit would be better if that kind of changed, where like people were able to work together. Um, I don't, I don't know if it'd be better. Um, I mean, anything, anything's possible, but just me though, because there's certain things that, that have happened and shit. Mm. So I can never do that. Because all right, when, when Lefty first starts doing interviews, there's another rapper named Roddy Rax from around like similar type of area mm. and like people right away were asking like could you guys do a song together and lefty's basically saying like nah we're not like super ops but there's people associated with him there's people that i'm close to don't get along with don't each other along. so there was like reasons why they wouldn't be able to work together but then i guess like the business of it and like people just kind of helped make it cool and they ended up working together and it really only took like a month or two after they started doing interviews for that shit to happen and i feel like that's probably a good thing it's probably like the supporters wanted it plus nothing serious probably happened between their people yeah like nobody died it's like a certain level of beef that you just Mm -hmm. can't get past yeah it's a certain line yeah Mm, interesting 